Today's a very, very sad day on the RTG. It's probably the maddest I've been on this video game in a very long time. It's the maddest I've been in a video in years. I am gonna yell very much in this video, lads, and I wanna apologize if I get too loud, but I'm very passionate about this RTG, and I'm gonna show you something that is leaked, and I react off the leaked news that's coming to this game, and it puts me in a really, really bad head place. I sell everything on the RTG. Listen, watch the video. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. And remember, a lot of it is all based off of a leak, but it's coming from a leaker that doesn't get things wrong. So uh, enjoy the video. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. And um, yeah, man, it's 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 a tough day for the RTG, man. Here's why. Blood, do we sell Modric, yes or no? Now, I know what the, it, the, the obviously, the, the number one thing that's gonna pop up in people's head is gonna say no, right? Everyone's gonna say no to selling Modric. But then I'm gonna show you something that's gonna change everything. Best of team of the week is coming tomorrow and be, will be more than 70 special cards in packs, including new promos and old promos, which means seems like 60 to 70 special cards, including team of the week, trailblazers, new promos, and road to the knockout. Mod Rich is gonna be back in packs tomorrow. Blood, what am I seeing? BF packs are insane. Black Friday packs are insane. Two hero packs, two icons, max 88, 50 times 81 plus with one icon, max 89, 50x 81 with one hero, 60 attackers, road to the knockout, trailblazers, and that other promo, 1 million coin pack inbound, question mark. Lads, we're in November. We're in November. They are going to kill this market so bad. And I don't even want to get on a rant, but this is the truth to it, man. They want the market to die because they want people to open up packs for the new promo cards because they're trying to make promo cards the only relevant cards in the game. And this is what they want. They want gold cards to be relevant. So everyone wants the promo cards to make their team better. So they open more packs. W or L take. Ronaldinho's promo card does look crazy. Ronaldinho's card looks crazy, right? But this is the problem with this. You're only getting them if you waste $5,000. And that's not okay. That's not okay. That's not okay, bro. Ronaldinho, Cruyff, all these cards, bro. It's not okay that the only way you could play with these cards is dropping two, three thousand, four thousand dollars $4,000. I've been doing an RTG on YouTube pretty much my whole YouTube career, right? I got really serious doing RTGs in FIFA 17. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. We're at 24. I am from the bottom of my heart. I'm going to say this to y'all. I don't, I don't think RTGs are possible anymore. It's over. It's over, bro. I don't think RTGs are possible anymore. I legitimately am looking at you and telling you the absolute truth. It is, it is not possible anymore because what I'm going to explain to you is it is not possible for you to get to Cruyff, Ronaldinho, R9, because now the way they're doing the market on Black Friday, they're going to mud all gold cards. How are you supposed to pack stuff during rewards to sell to make you money? It's impossible. Unless you, the only way you're going to get coins is by getting rank one and getting the guaranteed coins every time and discarding all gold players. RTGs are collect fodder to do SBCs. That is your only chance of competing with the big teams is through SBCs. You have to only complete SBCs. So for people that are extremely good at the game, they can do RTGs. But for people that go to school and for people that have jobs and for people that have kids and for people that have lives and girlfriends and boyfriends, and it is hard for them to compete without spending money. The people that actually support this game and are the foundation of this game and the reason you have people logging on to this game is because of those people. You're being like, oh, yo, you know what? You guess what? You guys only spend $100, $200 a year. For you guys, it's going to be impossible for you to get to the big cards. But guess what? For the people that are spending $1,000, $2,000, $3,000, $4,000, this game's going to cater to you. Lads, let me explain something to you. Do you realize on Black Friday, someone that's named Little Jimmy is going to go to Walmart and buy his FC24. He's going to come home. He's going to spend about $500 and he is gonna have a team bigger than your team that you've spent the last three months trying to get. You understand what I just said to you? There is gonna be some random 
that is going to walk into Walmart, buy this game, and within the first day of him playing it, is going to have a team bigger than you, and you've been on this game for 30 days. By the way, by the way, you spent $100 for your game to play it early. It frustrates me, man, because I'm passionate about this game, bro, and I care about this game. You know, I care about this game, bro. I, I care about this game. While everybody else and their mama's on Fortnite, I log on this game every single day. Every single day, bro. Call of Duty came out, I didn't turn my back on you. Fortnite came out, I didn't turn my back on you. I stayed, bro. Everyone playing five back, I didn't turn my back on you. Everyone playing 71 depth, I didn't turn my back on you. But you turn your back on us. I can't even have one tradable card in my team because you're going to re-release the card I have when nobody's supposed to get it. It's not my fault they didn't play the game when Road to the Knockout was out. That's their fault. I paid $100 for this game. I paid $100 to get this card. And now some random's going to start playing this game tomorrow and he's going to have the same card I have. What's the point of my play me paying $100 for this game, man? Now you pissed me off, bro. Now you fully pissed me off, man. I've been working for these damn cards, man. Every single day, man. Busting my ass to have Modric in my team. Just for you to re-release him. And Jimmy, that doesn't even care about this game, can have him too? It's not okay, man. It's not okay, yo. It's just not okay, man. It's not okay, bro. It's not okay, bro. It's not okay. It's not okay, bro. I'm not here every day complaining about your servers or complaining about your gameplay or shitting on your game, bro. But when you do stuff like this, bro, that's not fair. That's not fair to the people that have been playing your game, bro. That's not okay. Chat W or L take, bro. That's not okay, bro. You can't do us like that, man. We These cards came out in the beginning of the game. And we got your game early so we can have a chance at these cards. And then you're just going to go re-release them. So you're telling me when I held my mod rich for two months waiting for him to get an upgrade. And now some little random can come in and pack him after he has his upgrades? How is that okay? Why were we waiting for upgrades? I don't understand, bro. Listen, bro. You want to come in and allow people to open packs? That's fine, bro. It is what it is. But you can't re-release cards, bro. That people have been holding for upgrades that is ridiculous so you're telling me everyone who played the game early and busted they asked to get a trailblazer blazer cristiano ronaldo now all of a sudden some random person coming to the game can all of a sudden get the same card you have out of packs what was the point of playing the game in september why did we play in october why didn't we all just come during black friday i'm sick of it bro like it's so weird every day you got to go look at your cards as if it's real life to see how much money you're gonna lose on your card today or if you should even buy. I've been wanting to buy Trailblazer Cristiano Ronaldo for two weeks, bro. And I've been waiting for Black Friday because I knew the prices were going to go down. But I didn't realize that they were going to re-release Cristiano Ronaldo. I didn't realize that Modric is going to be back in packs. Thank God I didn't buy him for 800k. He's about to be 500. Best of team of the week. Coming tomorrow, there will be more than 70 special cards, including continuing and also new promos slash old promos. We'll, uh, what packs do you want to see? Gave an update uh, uh, as misunderstood. Seems more than 60 to 70 special cards in, in packs, including Team of the Week, Road to the Final Knockout, Trailblazer, and new promos. Here goes the market, bro. Is it SBC? No, it's going to be store packs, man. It's going to be store packs. It's going to be store packs, lad. It's EA trying to get their money back because for people that didn't buy the game because of FC24 going with their name going from FIFA to FC. It's going to be store packs, bro. It is going to be store packs. Tradable or untradable? Honestly, it doesn't matter, bro, because I want you to hear me out, Jay. I want you to hear me out, blood. Even if it's untradable, right, Romo? You know how many untradable moderates are going to come out? Do you know how many people are going to get an untradable moderate and now list their moderate? So no matter how it goes, there's going to be so many supplies of moderates hitting the market because of people packing them that its price is just going to keep going down, 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 down. This moderate could hit 150. So should I sell my, my my Ronaldo Trailblazer now? I don't know, bro. I don't know if we should trust this guy or not. Look, I, I've seen a lot of stuff from Foot Sheriff, and he doesn't get a lot of stuff wrong. It seems like more than 60 to 70, 70 special cards in plaques, including Team of the Week, Road to the Final. I don't know, bro. I don't, I don't know if he's right or wrong here. If he's right, Trailblazer Ronaldo is going to drop nasty. I love the new what the pro, new promo. Continent coming, Ronaldinho coming. I like Cor Cruyff coming. I like that. I like that. This is like the saddest, maddest sale I've ever made in my entire life, bro. I'm like, I'm selling this strictly 
out of rage, sadness. I don't want to sell this, bro. I don't want to sell this, man. I'm so sad, man. He's gone, man. Luka Modric, man. Four 19 and ones gone, man. And now I got to run Tiago, blood. Ah. Everything else is untradeable except for Neymar. I am hurt, man. I'm hurt by this, bro. I am actually hurt by this, bro. Can't we get an L span for EA, bro?